Continuous flow through worm bins like this one right here are easy to set up and operate. Hang around and I'll show you how I go about it. Welcome to Home Setting Monday. I'm Gray Madden from Self Reliance Publishing. And today I'm going to be showing y'all how I operate my continuous flow through worm bin. Now, a continuous flow through worm bin, if you're not familiar with it, is a system where you've got a top portion, a bin up top here that holds the worms bedding and the worms themselves. And there is a divide right here that holds the bedding up. In this case, I used uh, electrical conduit. And you can access it from the bottom here to harvest your worm castings. Now, the advantage of a continuous flow through system is it's really easy to operate. Uh, basically, as the worm is processing its bedding in the food, the castings fall to the bottom and the worms stay in the same spot. You feed them in the same spot. You don't have to really handle the worms a whole lot or move them around. They just stay right where they're at. Now, if you did want to harvest the worms, you could do that from the top. But if you're doing it strictly for composting, it's not necessary. I'm actually really overdue on working with this system. I've got a lot of vermicompost and worm castings that have fallen out the bottom and I really only have a few inches of bedding right now. So I'm, I'm past due on managing this system. Uh, so let's jump in and I'll show you how, how it's set up. Okay, my tripod's not tall enough to peek down in here so I'm gonna have to hold the camera so bear with me I apologize about that but you see I just have some newspaper laid on top to help keep the moisture in and keep the flies out and this is where the bedding and the worms are at as you can see uh, I'm pretty I don't have a whole lot of bedding here I'm pretty low so I'm really need to add a good amount of bedding here. And I've got some leaf litter that I'm gonna add in here as bedding. Okay, so I just dumped in about 30 gallons of leaf litter. And this is about the height you ought to be. You, you ought to have eight to 10 inches of bedding or so, maybe a little bit more in the winter time, just to uh, uh, give them a little bit more insulation from the cold. Okay, so I got that leaf litter in there. I'm also gonna put in some Green, green weeds uh, just to give them a little bit more in the way of bedding and food. Okay, so that's the weed cover I gave them. I'm gonna just pull back a little bit of it here so that I can add some food scraps in as a little bit of extra food. You're gonna wanna use the same sort of guidelines when it comes to feeding uh, as any other worm bin. So you don't wanna cover more than half of the bed with your food just in case you give them something that the worms don't like, uh, they have a way of escaping. You also wanna leave a little bit of space around the outside to cover that up with first our weeds and then our newspaper to try and prevent the flies from becoming pests. So this is a look at the bottom portion of the bin and you can see all the vermicompost or worm castings that's fallen to the bottom. And if we peek up just a little bit you'll see where I've got some electrical conduit running front to back uh, spaced I think every inch and a half or so apart and that's what's holding that bedding up in the first compartment uh, above when you're setting the system up for the first time you have to put newspaper down to hold that bedding in place but with time that newspaper will break down and decompose and the worm castings will begin to fall to the bottom and uh, w when the bedding's at the right moisture content and everything, it's, it's held up and you don't have to worry. Uh, but you can see we've got a decent amount of compost that has fallen. And I like to just sift through that. You're gonna have some worms that fall down. So I like to sift through it and pull out any worms that have fallen and put them back on top. The sifter I'm using is just a bottom of a five gallon bucket with a bunch of holes drilled in it. I actually 
made it for trapping, but I just had it handy, so I figured it would work just fine for this as well. So the stuff, the big stuff that doesn't go through the sifter, I've got some worms and just some stuff that hasn't been composted completely. I'll return that stuff to, back to the top of the bin so that the worms can keep on working and the rest of the stuff that's not broken down all the way can be processed further. So this is the finished product here. This is one of God's best natural fertilizers. I love producing it and I love using it. So that's how I go about setting up this system and operating it. Once you get it set up, usually it takes about a year or so from setting it up before you can start harvesting worm castings out of the bottom of it. So go ahead and plan on that. But overall, it's a great system. I love working with this thing and I would encourage you all to set one up. If you have any questions, give me a holler. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, I appreciate every like, every comment, and every subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.